Hey guys, welcome back. This is another episode of the best new Android apps of the week. In this video, we are going to see some of the apps that are recently launched. So let's get started and see. First application is called Contextual App Folder. So it is not yet released. It is uh, under the early access, but you can get it just by enrolling to that app. And just wanted to cover that because it is so nice app that I couldn't stop myself to show you guys here what's that all about. So in short, using that app, you can do some of the tasks uh, within a folder itself based on some of the context so in terms of context and that means something you have changed you know in your phone for example uh, you change your profile you turn on the bluetooth you turn on the wi-fi so it works according to that when you open that app you will get some default profile that you can create so by default you will get default in the headphones so i have created two here G uh, one is the wi-fi one is the, uh, one of the exclusive app base and one of the business locations so when i created this profile so when you connected to certain wi-fi network so then it launched some set of application as you can see this is the play store and the youtube app it will launch so giving you guys a demo uh, for example my wi-fi is turned off and this is the default folder using that app if i just go and turn on the wi-fi you can see we got some new set of apps inside our applications so i hope you guys understand so you can create a lot of profile for example, if you receive any notification on a specific app, say you are chatting to someone and you got some notification on the Google Plus. So you want certain apps to be launched. So you can select here Google Plus application. It will launch that application directly when you got any Google Plus notification. Next application is called Volume Scheduler. It is another automated application. Using that, based on the time you can configure, you complete a phone profile. For example, as you can see, i just created two profile default is office in the home when this is turned on you can create the date on which day you want to get activated so when you're in the home you can select the by default which kind of ringtone what kind of volume it will play as you can see volume profile media notification what kind of things you want so when you when this profile is turned on according to time you will feel a certain vibration that means uh, it's notification like vibration on schedule that is your profile has been changed and then moment you came back to your default location for example 6 pm you can configure the date according to that date and time it will change your profile back next application is called wallpapers craft so this is another wallpaper application you can get a high resolution wallpapers up to 4k and the best part of that this wallpaper app as you can see is optimized according to it you have two options you can download either the full wallpaper resolution which is 4k and above and you can get customized according to your phone so you don't need to crop the wallpaper manually it the similar wallpaper it get automatically adjusted to your phone screen as you can see it got lot of categories here and you have lot of themes here favorites here you can get so set of wallpapers and i was playing with it wallpaper for quite a long time here and i did get lot of mixed wallpapers so most of the wallpapers are new i did not found that anywhere else as you can see uh, if i just open any simple wallpaper the wallpaper even look beautiful and you have two set of operations you can see if i just click on the download i get the option here if you want it to original 6000 by 4000 that's a quite a high resolution that you can get and you can also adopt it for your display if i just set it from here it sets according to your phone you can see wallpaper the same wallpaper is completely organized according to your phone next application is called fingerprint scanner tools your phone should have fingerprint and using that you can already do a lot of actions like you can tap to lock your phone you can tap to cycle notifications so i already have shown you the detailed review in one of my previous video uploaded so make sure to watch that detailed video and it's highly recommended app in case you want just this feature on your smartphone supporting a fingerprint scanner next app is called text animation using that application you can convert simple text to a gif file or gif file it has by default six pre-default font but you can edit the text and alter the text i will just take this here and if you just click edits you can change the font type and you can edit the text here or you can change the text whatever you want suppose i just typed in here this one you can play it show you in an animated way and they have a lot of options you can change the background color you can change the text color you can check the uh, font type font size too you can make it big you can make it large you can play it and after that you can easily share it to wherever you want so if you want to create simple gif file on the go using a smartphone without depending on any the computer to create that so this is application for you so that's it guys for this week new android application i hope you guys find this video helpful just want to say thank you so much for watching guys this is sarah i'll catch you next video